Hey developers, welcome to this quick tutorial on creating JSON files using Angular 18 without needing a server. This technique is super handy for local data management in your Angular apps. So let's dive right in. I assume that you already have created your Angular project. I'm currently using Angular 18 and I have started this project in my browser. First thing that I would do is that I will create a new service by running the command ng generate service json dash creator okay the service has been created as you can see in the app folder now open that service and let's add our functions that we need here first function is create json and it will take the data from the parameter and we will convert it into the string version of that json by using the json.stringify function so just return the response of that function json.stringify pass the json object and use null as the second argument and pass the integer to this is the good thing to implement the formatting like we would like to keep the nesting correctly in that string version of that json now i will create a function save json file and this will be expecting two parameters json content of type string and file name that you want to use to save that file now i will create a constant blob is equal to new blob and we will pass it the json that we want to use like this and in the second argument i will pass the type of this blob so we are telling that this blob would contain the content of type json and now I will create a URL is equal to window.url.create object URL. Now I will create a constant link is equal to document.create element a tag. Now I will add the href and add the URL that we just created into that href attribute. And now we added another attribute download and gave it the file that we want to download so this would automatically use the name that we have specified in this parameter and now i will trigger the click event on that link and now i will call the function window.url revoke object url okay so this service will handle our json creation and file serving logic so before proceeding further i will just quickly show you how it will work i am going to create a constructor and within that I will create a JSON data and we will have an array in it and that array would be of type object I have added some dummy data into it okay now we will create the string version of that JSON you don't need a separate function you can just use this directly here as well so I'm just hiding my logic here by creating a new function now I will call the function this dot save json file we have passed the stringified json and passed the name of the file that we want to use save it now let's inject this service in one of our components that is current, currently visible here currently app dot component is visible so i'm going to inject my service because as soon as i will inject my service here the constructor would be executed immediately so here let's create a constant uh, create a pro property with the name json creator is equal to inject make sure to add the inject function from angular slash core and pass it the service that you want to inject save it and now you can see immediately it has triggered the file download if you open that let me actually open it okay i just opened that json file and you can see this is showing the correct json in the correct format you will see all of the indents are there now let's make it more practical and try to mimic a real world situation so in the app.component.ts i will create a form group so in order to use that i have to import the reactive form module make sure to add the import statement from this path angular slash forms now here i am going to create a property from group but before that i need to inject another service with the name form builder i have saved it in the fb property now i will initialize my form group property with this dot fb dot group that will create a form group for us and i will pass an object within that object we will pass all of the properties that we want to use for that form 
okay so this is our basic form group with the name age address street state state and zip let me move this service injection on the top okay now let's go to the app.component.html i'm going to remove everything just add h1 tag form and now i will add a form tag and within that i will just add the directive form group and pass it the form group that we just created and here i will add submit event on submit we will call a function on submit and now within that function i will create a div and within that div we will add a label with a name we also added the input and we have to add the form control name this value of the form control name must have to match with the property name of this group otherwise it will not be mapped with our form group now we need to create other inputs as well so let's do that the age and address age and now let's create another div for the address and here i will add form group here i will use form group name and in that i will pass the name of our group that is address okay now within that i will add another div like this and that will have street city state and zip okay now let's add the other inputs as well next one would be for the state and then we need to add the zip input like this okay excellent now we need to add our missing function on submit here before implementing that let's display the generated json of this form group in the html just to see if everything is working correctly here i will use form group dot value and use the pipe json currently this pipe is not available because we did not import the common module so in the app component dot ts we have to add the common module like this save it now you will notice that this error is gone okay now you can see all of these properties are available in this json if you type something you will see that it is correctly bounded with these inputs and if you type street you will see that it is now updating in the address object and same for the city zip and you can see all of data was failed okay now i'm going to remove it and here i will add a submit button all right now go to the ts file and let's implement the submit button so i will call this dot json creator dot save json file and here we will pass the first argument that should be the stringified json of our original json so use the this dot json creator dot create json and pass it the json that we want to convert into the string this dot form dot value would give us the proper json that we want to use and in the second argument we need to pass the name of the file that we want to generate you can use a different name this time as well xyz save it now let's try it i'm going to add a name i ask tag test 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 uh, let me actually add something else street test city test state test and zips anything like that now hit the submit button and it shows that the download was blocked so by default browsers may block the download that you will trigger with the help of the javascript for the sake of the security so you can just click on that and click on always allow that and hit the done button now if you click the submit button again this time the file will be downloaded now let's open it in our vs code okay i opened that json file in my vs code you can see that it has saved that correct json in this file with the proper nice indentation you could extend this to create more complex json structures and there you have it you have just learned how to create and download json file directly from your angular 18 app no server required try implementing this in your own projects and see how it can enhance your app's functionality. If you are using a better method than this, then please share that in the comment section. And if you found this video helpful, then don't forget to like and subscribe to for more Angular tips and tricks and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos. Also, please like and share this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.